Did you know that the Odin Inspector website has a page where you can share tools that you've made with Odin? In this video, we wanted to take time to highlight some of those tools that have already been added and you can download to use in your projects. If you've made something and you want to share it, then we want to see it. Towards the end of the video, we'll take a look at the simple process of submitting a tool. But for now, let's jump into looking at the currently available tools. Ever get a long list of assets and wish you could see a few more details about a particular asset? The List Item Selector tool can help with that. Simply click on an item in the list and a preview field will be shown below the list. Easy to use and a potential time saver. The tool does this all with a custom attribute, a custom drawer, and a little work around the list itself. All the necessary code plus a usage example can be found on the community page. You can find a link to this and all the other tools shown in this video in the description below. Now I don't know about you, but I struggle with choosing colors in my projects. Once I do find a color, then I often need to copy it here and there, or maybe even get it into the code. Translating the various representations of color can be a clicky process, or maybe even require a little bit of calculation. The color picker is a simple tool that has the generic Unity color picker plus RGBA sliders. The best part is it provides a hex code, RGBA values in one window, plus strings with a color that can be copied straight into your C-sharp code. Simple and useful. Out of the box, Unity provides the tool of Unity events for us to use in our projects. They allow multiple methods to be called when the event is invoked. And the methods can be assigned in the inspector, which definitely has its uses. But there are some limitations. Better Events uses Odin Inspector to serialize and display parameter values and member references. It supports methods, properties, and static members. It also supports the reordering of events. It also works with all kinds of methods, regardless of return type or the parameters. The code base is small and easy to customize for your uses and your projects. Scriptable objects are incredibly useful. If you missed our earlier video about scriptable objects or using them with Odin, check out the links in the top right or in the description below. If your project ends up using a lot of different types of scriptable objects, it can start to clutter your asset menu. And that's where the scriptable object creator comes in. It adds one entry at the top of your asset menu that brings up a custom editor window. From that window, you can see and search for every scriptable object in the project, plus the editor window shows the inspector for the scriptable object. You can adjust any fields or properties and then click Create Asset, and the tool will do the rest of the work to create and add the asset to your project. Pretty quick, pretty simple, and pretty handy. These are just a few of the tools that are available on the Odin Community Tools page. We'd love to see the resource grow with even more submissions. If you have something that you think others might find useful, then come add it to the collection. We'd love to see the resource grow and become more useful to the larger Odin community. Adding a tool to the Odin Inspector is quick and easy you'll need to have or create an account on the Odin Inspector site. Once that's done, you can find a button to add a tool to the Community Tools page. From there, you can click Create New. That'll open up a new page with a form to submit your tool as well as an example template. You can add links to GitHub, the Asset Store, or your own web page. Anything that will help other users find and use your tool. Once the tool is approved, it'll be live on the Odin site. And if you didn't know, there's also a dedicated channel on the DevDog Discord where you can see and share tools made with Odin. You can find all kinds of interesting things, including custom attributes, editor windows, and much, much more. So we hope that was useful, and we hope to see your tools submitted in the future. And until next time, happy game designing.